the funny fish has returned. I am back. Uh, I've had some cheese. I've had some cheese. I've got the smoothie. We're back to do some more oxygen not included. I think this run's going pretty well. Frozen Foresters. We almost got a farter because we opened up the Frozen Friend um, in the previous part and <laughs> they were initially flatulent and we decided we're not having any of that. So we uh, swapped them out. No, oh, that's really good. I have an innocent pineapples, bananas, and coconut smoothie. Very nice. One of the rare smoothies that I don't believe is completely full of apple juice. But anyways, let's go back to the game. So uh, let's switch over the music again. Game. How are you? You're here. Okay, good. So, where are we at? Where are we up to? So, in the last part, we started melting all the brine ice that was on the map into brine. We're running it through a desalinator to get the salt out. And we now have about half a ton of salt built up in this machine. And eventually, a dupe will come and unload this, and then we can start doing rust deoxidization and get some more metal ore that way. Now, I don't think that's a huge priority. We, I just wanted to get it started so we can start accumulating the salt, and then we can do that once we start to run out of metal. Because at the moment, we're trying to generate as much heat as possible with our metal refinery. This is being used to heat the polluted water from our polluted, uh, our cold, cool slush vent, which comes out at minus 10, to go up to about 30 degrees or 20 degrees-ish. So our base is just about warm enough to actually function. Everyone's a little bit idle at the moment because we've run out of stuff to do. But we're going to start actually ranching the pips. We do have... We do have one person with ranching. XD got creeped. I should have been giving you ranching stuff. We do have one rancher. So we're going to start moving the pips into here. Uh, there's these rooms which are insulating. And we're going to have to sort them out. I think, for now, I'm just going to put some insulated tile here. I'm not going to go absolutely crazy on the ranches. We're going to have the bit where we actually sort out the, the critters up here, and then we're going to have the, the ranchy bits down here. So let's see. Do we have all the ranching tech, first of all? Probably not. So let's stop what we're doing and grab the ranching tech. So that would be ranching. Believe it or not. Probably want the critter sensor after that. So the other reason we're desalinating this brine is we can actually get some regular water again. We can use for research because we accidentally spilled all of our regular water down here. It all froze. <laughs> uh, we ain't getting that back. This ice down here is at minus 140 degrees. Some of it. It's ridiculous. There's still loads of brine ice down here. We've let some polluted oxygen here just so that we can actually start analyzing this hydrogen vent. It's going all right. There's enough hydrogen pressure in here. We're not going to have any issues with that. So what do I get everyone to do in the meantime? I think we just start digging out all this stuff. If people are bored, I think we set this on a priority seven and we start just digging out this whole area. That's the wrong place. We'll build the ladders at floor level. Because I want to make this actually the base proper. And we're going to expand our insulated tile wall and our heat infrastructure. Because we just need more space. We do not have quite enough space at the moment. But we're going to dig all this out. So that can go here. There's still some bright ice that's melting over here. As well. uh, that ladder can go here for now. But yeah, um, we have 44 mealwoods. It's not quite enough food for everyone. We are going to get the pips up and running in this part. But I think it's important we clear some space first. There is the hot CO2 vent that is erupting here, generating hardly any heat at all. The bottle empty we no longer need. I think we've found most things of value on this asteroid now, to be honest. But we want the pips so that we can get some eggs and start actually making steel, and then we can start making the biobots. 
Am I actually going to need the biobots? Possibly not. There's not a huge amount of stuff to actually do on this asteroid. I feel like the dupe's going to get pretty bored. We could probably move a lot of the dupes off this asteroid after a while. And then have mostly biobot labor, maybe? We'll see. Not entirely sure. But yeah, essentially what we're doing is we're loading the solid brine ice into this conveyor loader where it's going around this conveyor rail where the ice is quickly conducting heat with the liquid. Much more quickly than if you just left the liquefiable ice in the in the liquid. And that is... Oh, hold on. What's going on? That is melting off of the rail. Which is what we want. You are trapped and suffocated. Okay, well, that's a good start. Um, balls, balls, balls. What was the plan? So that needs to go here. The plan was not to kill someone at the very start of the part. Especially not a named dupe. There's a little bit of... Okay, there's a lot of oxygen up here. I think what we do as well is we build a granite ladder here. And then you can go and breathe this little pocket of oxygen. Yeah, this should be fine. You'll both need to stand up here. Yeah, now, now, okay, there you go. Now you're fine. Someone's starving as well. You're suffocating and starving at the same time, and you have a full blood. <laughs> Great. Mm, yeah, really going well. Mm. Well, at least you're not suffocating anymore. This is a bad plan. Um, perhaps we just get everyone to dig this out first. I oh, will see. I'll just keep an eye on it. I'm sure it'll be fine. They do tend to suffocate when you have an actually active carbon dioxide guys are right next to them. Right, speed two again. I know you're starving. We're uh, kind of working on that. But we need to actually heat up the environment so we can actually grow mealwoods. We still have about 260 tons of dirt. So not really concerned about what, uh, running out of dirt yet, but it could happen. Uh, we do need to dig uh, generally out here. And I'm going to need to dig that out as well and then retile this. It does not need to be yellow there. There we go. <laughs> it seems like people quite like the, the, the new tier list video that went on the YouTube. Yeah, very serious tier list video conducted by a fish. So perhaps perhaps more Whiskers content will follow next year. Right. I think we're just going to have to remove this here. You've got hypothermia. Believe it or not, sleeping on a giant slab of ice gives you hypothermia. Who would have thought? I think we're just going to remove every third tile and build it that way. So there's some maths to do about how many pit branches we're actually going to have. We want 10 dupes in here, I think. 10 dupes is a good number in general. It means we can have uh, two barracks and fit everyone in. Although the barracks are going to move over here somewhere. Probably over here, realistically. <laughs> Only serious tier lists are hosted by fish. Exactly. It's premium gaming content. Yeah, you should be able to access all of these tiles from here. But we're going to have to actually expand all of the heat pipe to go out here first. Now, how far are we going to have this go out? So we know this is going to be the access shaft for the base. This room is 22 wide. We actually wanted to make it 23 wide. So the doors are going to go here. Okay, I built the ladder in the wrong place. That doesn't help. So that ladder should go here. And then you can do that. So priority 9 this. And then we'll have the fire pole over here. And there'll, there'll be more rooms over here, I guess? Maybe? So how wide can we make it? We can make it wide enough so that the CO2 guys isn't impinging on it. That's good. 
I could have actually put the ranch column over here. Does this make more sense? I feel like this makes more sense because the polluted water pipe is already here. I know we just built this whole area. I think this actually makes more sense putting it here. Right, right, right. Let's have a think. Let's decide this before we actually commit to where the build is going. So don't build these ladders. Fire pole goes here. Ladder goes here. Think this out. Because then we can just make it completely insulated as well. We could have the whole insulated area be completely insulated. Yeah, no, that makes way more sense. Okay. Will we still do something over here? Maybe. I think this goes to a... Yeah, that's on a lower priority. That's fine. Um, Let's actually not do the ladders here. Let's do... Tiles. There we go. And there is chlorine and hydrogen over here. Is that really a deal breaker? I don't know. We could start the pips over here and then set up the stuff later. It's probably fine. I don't think I want any of these dupes. Wait. These two dupes are almost identical, except they have different interests. That's very weird. Hmm. Okay, so let's put the doors on. Now this is actually all going to be insulated the same as this, so I think we can double door this. So if we're making this room, we can make it 24 wide. And then the geyser is in the way. Ah, oh, that's annoying. It's very annoying. Unless we just stick the guys' room on the ranches. We could do that. <laughs> we could just have a hot CO2 guys' room on one of our ranches. Does that actually make a difference? I don't think it even does. I think we just do it. Right. We're going to put some salt vines up to eat all the chlorine that ends up in the environment. I don't really care too much about that, I don't think. Why well, we got water over here? Why is this leaking out of here? Is it melting? Is it melting off of the rail over here? It, I mean, it seems to be freezing down here, so I'm not I'm not really that concerned. Uh, oh, okay, that was melt water. Okay, that's fine. So this is 96. We want it to be actually 100. I think what I'm going to do for now is I'm going to put some farm tiles here. I'm going to plant a load of salt lines. Because we have them. And salt vines grow to quite a chilly temperature, so this should be fine. And then we just let it all out. But not all at once. Yeah, we don't need these ladders. Sorry, dupes. Was... Was indecisive, now not so sure. And then the hydrogen. I don't think I even care about the hydrogen. The hydrogen's just going to disappear up here somewhere. So... We can extend this over here. There's the satellite. So obviously whatever we do is going to be constrained by the satellite. It's fine. We'll dig this out. You're all starving. Wait, why aren't these growing? They should be warm enough. 
Oh, um, the water has ended up too cold because we are 50 50 in it. Okay. I guess we just turn this off. You're exhausted. Oh, wait, what's the schedule like? Uh, have an extra downtime. There you go. What are your vitals like? Uh, not great. Are we going to have to murder some pips to get by? I would prefer not to. But there really isn't a lot of food. We do have water again. So we can make life slow. Do we get them to do life slow? I think we do. So set meal lice to off. Set this to priority nine. It is already full of water. And then you guys can just eat the lice. Now, the water from desalinating this brian ice is technically finite, but there's so much of it, I'm not that concerned. Do we just dig all of this up as well? I don't know. This actually isn't super important, so I can go here. Then we go over here, and then this is the last one that we do for now, I think. We dig this all out like this. Mm-hmm. Put another farm tile here. Right. I believe we're on the way to making life loaf. We have some meat. Where do we end up with meat from? I don't think we're ending up with that much meat normally. Oh, there's the meal lice. Okay, yeah, yeah. So now if you're making this lice loaf, you should uh, be able to stretch the calories a little bit further. Now that we've got some actual water. I think we're still planning on melting regular ice in here as well with the tepidizer. Yeah, this is cool enough that it's uh, not breaking the pipe, which is what we... I'm glad they can climb across these ladders. It's a little bit, um... It's a little bit shackled, um... Oh, what's the phrase? It's it's a little bit higgledy-piggledy, but it works. This is the bit that would be helpful to have the biobots for, but we don't even have the lime for steam. We probably do have a little bit of eggshell, though. We have a little bit of eggshell. So if I make, like, a rock crusher over here, I probably want to make it in the bit where I actually want to generate heat, right? We should at least make eggshell stuff. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Have I missed a trick? I have. And I can go there. This can go here. Then we can put a floor lamp here. Again, this is just temporary, just to get some initial lime going. Now, why is this overloading? Oh, it's actually overloading. We are actually drawing more than two kilowatts on it. Fun. This does use a lot of power. But I don't think we reasonably have a choice, because it's not like we can get it into steam on back on this asteroid. Or, and we don't even have the technology to do that yet. I think the I think the life slope is the solution at the moment. Look at it. We haven't been in a life slope in God knows how long. But I think it makes sense here. It's disgusting. How much money would you have to be paid to eat a life slope in real life? Delivering the nosh bean here as well. Is the nosh Oh, we can make a tofu. We can make a tofu. That's like the nice uh, life slope. This colony is living on a 100% loaf-based diet. 
Have fun. You're suffocating now. Yep, that's a serious one. Uh, build this. There we go. I think that one could have been prevented. That was breathability. Yeah, so the whole map is full of CO2 except for the bit where we actually want the deeps to breathe. That's fine. Unreachable food. Unpermitted food. Yeah, I guess the downside is if you have a load of meal ice lying around, it's not actually getting eaten yet. But that's fine. It's fine. As long as it doesn't go off. This isn't going to get analyzed anytime soon, is it? Dig this out. Um, let's see. So, what's the gas situation? Where's the chlorine? I don't think there is a lot of chlorine. I think it may be condensing on the map somewhere. So, let's plant the salt lines here, just to make sure that we don't get any wandering over. I think that should be fine. And then we just demolish all of this. And, ah, I found an issue. So, the gas vent is halfway between our floor levels. Now, we could just have one less pip in each of these rooms. But that's boring. <laughs> we'll figure something out. We'll figure something out that's more exciting. Yeah, remove these. Uh, that... Could be party nine as well. We're basically dependent on Ellie actually cooking stuff. I'm hoping that you do actually have that as a priority. You do. It's cooking level two. It's just depending on people actually delivering the meal ice. You're not the best cook in the world, I must admit. Your your skill is not incredible. I guess I guess the skill points are doing some work. The light is doing most of the work, to be honest. Uh oh. Um, I think we've reached a problem. There's no oxygen in the bit where they're actually cooking. We are producing enough oxygen, but it's kind of uh. Getting crowded out by the CO2. People are kind of just immediately grabbing stuff to go eat. Plant still hasn't grown properly. Not that people are stressing out. But we need to get people past the point where they're actually starving so they actually eat at normal times again. That would certainly be helpful. You are working on digging us. You are working on digging us out. That's good. <coughs> How's the research going? It's not really going. People have got more important things to do at the moment. It does seem a little bit like most people are just uh, people are just rushing to grab water from the. You're grabbing five grams of water at a time. That's. Not water do you actually need for a life stove? You need a bit more than that. <laughs> oh, you're, you're delivering that to the water cooler. Okay, that's fine. It does seem like our cooking throughput is kind of limited. Mostly because of lack of water. Can we just put a second one here? Is there a point? Do we have a second person trained? Hello, Discordian Angel. You're looking quite adv um, uh, Discordian Agent, not Angel. <laughs> You're looking quite advanced as colony, being only cycle 57. Well, we're trying. Um, Frozen Forest is hard. 
Also, these aren't growing because of pressure. The CO2 pressure is too low in the room. Okay. Um, I guess I have to build an airflow tile here then. To let more CO2 in. Is that the issue? No, the dude just have to come back, and then it's all right. It's weird. Hmm. Spurs did their job and run out of CO2. Yeah, the, the issue is they're not really at the bottom of the base anymore like they normally are. I, th I think we have to put an airflow tile here just to let the CO2 creep in. We've got a hot geyser over here. It's not that hot. But basically, the issue at the moment is... Oh, sorry, I'm just going to set it back to eating lice. You can eat lice again. I think, to be honest, if we're only making lice loaf occasionally, it's good enough. But uh, yeah, the constraint is definitely keeping areas warm enough for dupes to actually be able to grow plants or whatever they can to eat food. Now, the obvious answer is hatches. We do have a hatch in this buried uh, tile here, but we do hatches a lot, and I kind of felt like that was against the spirit of what I'm trying to do in this colony. So we're going to try and do it with pips. And there's lots of pips. We're going to dump them all in here. We're going to start ranching them. That's the aim for this stream. The last part, we... Uh, got this working. So we're getting water out of this and we're getting um, salt as well. Have you actually emptied the machine yet? I believe you might have. But we're getting salt out of it. We're periodically dumping... Um, periodically pumping the water out as well. Consumable ore. Salt. Yes, there we go. We have like two tons of salt. So we can start building a rusty oxidizer to get oxygen in the colony as well. Oxygen hasn't actually been a huge problem. But I would like these to run. So we're going to put an airflow tile there and hopefully that allows the air pressure to increase. Yeah, and I don't think the oxygen will, will leave because this is always going to be CO2 because the guys... Are... Only ice asteroid never tried this one. My theory is we want to get coal going quickly and drain the hot CO2 throughout the base with no idea if that would actually work or if everyone would choke with CO2. So, with the hatches, the other thing I was thinking about is... There's not a huge amount of stuff to feed them on. I mean, let's have a look quickly. Oh, oh yeah, the dirt. You can feed them the dirt, but hatches eat so much dirt, it doesn't seem very sustainable. We're already using the dirt for meal lice, so I wouldn't want to do that. We don't have a volcano or anything we can try and feed the stone hatches, and that'd be quite advanced anyways. I feel like Pips is the way to go, because you're guaranteed a cool slush then. And as long as you can heat that up with something like a metal refinery or a liquid tepidizer then you can grow trees and you can feed the pips the trees. <laughs> Eventually make dirt by boiling polluted water. Yeah, but it's like 1% of the polluted water becomes dirt. We do not have that much polluted water. Also, why does this keep accumulating here? We're not putting... Um, is there just brine ice just down here or is it melting? I feel like it's melting off the rail into here. Do we have a... Oh, of course it is. It's melting here. That's what the issue is. Well, that's not what we want. We want the brine to stay up here. It's like 20% of the people to mass into dirt and the rest is steam. I don't think that's true. Let me look it up. So, yeah. If you have a hundred, a thousand kilograms... Um, if you have a thousand grams of steam... Um, if you have one kilogram of polluted water... Boil it, you get 99, uh, 0.99 kilograms of steam and 0.1. So it's 1%. That's the actual ratio. Yeah, yeah it's not a lot. <laughs> if you're doing a sludge press for mud into dirt and water, that's pretty good. That's a pretty good ratio on that. But obviously you don't have mud everywhere. Right, we're just going to have to do it like this then. Because, yeah, all the brine is melting on this rail. Which is no bueno. Ah, look, it requires emptying. Can I cheat? Can I get the thumbnail of someone emptying this machine and use it for the next, for the last part? Maybe. <laughs> I think that's what we do. We're cheating. <laughs> They'll never know. 
I never caught it the first time it actually happened. Now everything's freezing here again. Great. Good job. As long as it's not freezing in the pipe, we're fine. Yeah, you can keep you can keep making life slopes. We've got we've got water coming in from that, so I think that's worth doing just to get us over this food um for now. So is it time for the tent dupe? It could be, if we find a good one. Now we've got a decorator. We don't actually have a decorator. And they have caregiver as well. So they can heal people if needed. I don't think we need a dedicated doctor. The caregiver is probably good at least one. So I think we do take Harold. And Harold could be the decorator. There you go. Um, and I guess you could be the backup researcher. So decorating, yes. Researching uh, lower. And then doctoring lower as well. Okay. And then you could you could sleep here. There we go. That's our 10 dupes. So we're getting some of our oxygen through the oxyferns, and we're getting a lot of it through the polluted water just off-gassing over here. We're doing our best to make sure the polluted oxygen doesn't get over here, but there's quite a lot down here just for reasons. Reasons I can't quite remember. This is entombed. Vacillator recharge drop chance, 85%. We need to get someone with uh, decorating as well so they can they can look at that. Right, eggshell to lime. We do not have enough eggshell to make one lot of lime. That's very sad. We'll try. We'll get more from the pips. So we can put our fifth salt vine in here and then we can just dig this out. I don't think that's going to be an issue. We're storing all the bleach stones somewhere else for later use. So I think we literally just dig all the way over. And then this, this is the big satellite that generates all the radiation. So we're going to leave that there. In fact, I think the only thing we're going to do is we're going to dig these two tiles. And then we're going to set this up for our radiation research. Believe it or not. So this is going to be the radiation research lab. We're just going to put some generators up here or something. Crowd bulb generators. Now this asteroid is guaranteed to have one crash satellite on it. It's it's that one specifically, and it has a big gap into space there as well. Now, for this to actually work, we're going to have to do it like this. Now, how is that going to leave the room logic? We're going to remove the dash of salt vine eventually. So there's 23. I think we need to leave this bit partially opened up for it to count as a ranch for the pips. So I think what we actually do is we put a door here. We let people wander past and then we dig out all of this stuff. And we block it off at the appropriate point so it still counts as 96 tiles. I think that's fine. Uh, the hot CO2 is not very useful in and of itself, but we do want to accumulate CO2 because we're going to do a lot of carbon dioxide rocket travel, I imagine. There's three unknown objects nearby, and I suspect they're all the other planetoids. User, you have done goofed. There you go. I'm sure you can find a way to escape. Nothing else, at least it's injecting some heat into a colony. That, while that is true, it is not a lot. And CO2 is not very conductive. But yes, digging up all the cold material probably helps with that. Yeah, don't die, please. Wait. Oh, there's, there's some oxygen, okay. I mean, hydrogen is better because it's more conductive and it's got more heat capacity, but even then it's not very... These Weezworts are not quite keeping pace with it, but they're kind of doing all right. So now, yeah, now we've got the salt binds here. They can start eating all the chlorine. 
I'm hoping uh, one each will do. Maybe we'll put two each because we do have two seeds. But yeah, I just want to get these pips done as soon as possible. Uh, I don't care about analyzing this, to be honest. Thanks for the raid. Willow Rainy. Welcome, welcome. We don't have a raid message. Yes, I know you don't have a raid message. How are you doing? Nice. I like I like the Sir Grabby uh, Jinxy Fish emote. Hello, Wojum. Hello, Priest Zero. Hello, Netflix. How, how's your colony been? How's your colony been, Willow? Hello, Leofar. Leofar, you're back. Welcome, welcome. Hello, bees. How are you doing? Yeah, we're doing Frozen Forest. So, we've been on for a while. Um, we have got heat. We've got a cool slush geyser. That's producing minus 10 degrees polluted water. We are dumping that into a metal refinery, getting warm water out, which we're feeding to trees for the bathroom. Then that's going in some liquid tanks, and we're circulating it throughout the base to get heat for various things. It's not quite hot enough for a earth leaf, but we're, we're getting a decent amount of heat where we need it for the mealwoods. Um, Oxyferns, again, all the hot polluted water from the metal refinery is being recirculated into the oxyferns and the bathrooms. So that's that's all good. Uh, and what else are we doing? So we were going to put the pips over here, but I think we've decided we're going to put them over here now. Because it, we can just insulate this whole area a bit easier. And we can include the hot CO2 vent in here to add even more heat. But uh, yes, we've done a silly experiment over here. We are... We melted all the brine ice that we could find on the map into just the regular brine. And then we're running it through a desalinator to get water, which is A, for our actual research by this pitch pump. And B... Um, more water for the guys down here, which I'm not currently doing. Why aren't I currently doing this? We do need to dump this water eventually. But, uh, yeah, so we're doing well, Willow. You haven't killed anyone yet. Nice, nice. Nothing better than a random fish slap on a Monday. Nice. Yeah, indeed. Time to suffer. Yeah, people have been kind of suffering over here. We've been kind of just barely staving off starvation. Um, we've actually been making some tofu from wild nosh sprouts, um, across the map, which has been kind of wild. I can't even remember where they are. They're here somewhere. I hope we haven't eaten them all. <laughs> They're definitely somewhere. Oh, whatever. It's tofu, who cares? Yeah, um, in fact, are you making some tofu now? No, you're making some lice loaf. Yeah, there you go. You need more oxygen as well. Yeah, so currently our oxygen's coming from the oxyferns, and we're also just off-gassing all this polluted water. We're trying our best. But now that we've got the salt out of this brine with the desalinator, we uh, can do a rust deoxidizer as well. Not doing all achievement. No. No, we're going to do a different run for all, uh, all achievement. I don't really care too much about all achievements, and I actually want to unlock every achievement first. There's four achievements that we don't actually even have. Like, we, we haven't ever unlocked them. <laughs> Slacking yet, indeed. And now we're going to get the, the, the sweep of all the achievements we've gotten so far, because I haven't opened this menu yet. You've only missed four yourself? Yeah, it's probably the same four. Um, it's probably Buster Conquest, Mind the Gap, GMO, AOK, -okay, and... The one about all the research? Maybe? I can't remember. But yeah. It's four achievements you haven't got. Once I've actually unlocked all of them, then I would think about doing like an all achievements run with like carnivore, super sustainable locavore, etc. Obviously we're not doing locavore here. <laughs> no, I'm not really too motivated by uh, doing achievements in this game that I've already done. I never have been. But we'll probably do it at some point. One million mined, ten artifacts, ten colonies, or something else. Yeah, fair enough. We've got a double helix down here that's producing a very large amount of decor that we need to actually retrieve at some point. Yeah, it's going all right. Have you? Did you watch the? Uh, did you watch the Whiskers uh, tier list? Whiskers did the tier list about liquids because people were asking for a liquid. Um, a liquid tier list, so Whiskers did that video, because I was busy. I 
I've actually got something to hydrate myself that isn't squash today. Or Pepsi. So it's a good sign. <laughs> Worried from saying I've cheated. Yeah, I don't know. A 10th dupe, but still only have nine mess tables. That is true. Um. Pff, where are we going to put the other one? Do I just stick it here? Or something? No. Um. That's one problem with this design. I think the actual answer is we get rid of the water cooler and we put a bone in. How's the research going? It's not going. We're not researching anything. We put the water cooler up in the air and it still counts. <laughs> I've seen people do that. You know what? We'll do it because I haven't done it before. So let's see. So to do that, we have to, you have to build it here, but you have to actually build the tiles first. Yeah, we'll do that. I haven't done that on one of my runs yet. But I think the long-term plan is we're just going to put a phone in. We're going to phone it in. Who's got skills? Gray area. Gray area can have building because not enough people have building one in this colony and it's really showing. Right, you better be eating all of the uh, chlorine that we're releasing from here. I don't think it's cold enough for it to actually melt. Also, if you guys get a moment, feel free to replace these with granite tiles. I don't think that's going to cause an issue. You need to put some here as well. Those can be priority 9 though. And then mess table can go here and here. Actually, don't put the mess table there. We're going to put the phone there. The almighty uh, floating forbidden water cooler. Yes. I'm quite curious because I've literally never done this before. And what other tiles do we want to do? I guess we want to do... A, we should have done these tiles ages ago. That's a priority nine job. Here you go. And then this one, we can't... Oh, we can put the double helix here. Okay. Fine. These tiles, I don't care about. You can do these ones. You saw it in a YouTube video yesterday, thought it was a funny solution. Yep. I mean, the funny thing is, we... Uh, yeah. It doesn't solve the actual space problem. So let's just remove these. And you're suffocating. I have to actually pay attention to these. Uh, you need to do this one. There you go. Easily preventable. Right? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I think this run is going all right. I just want to get the pips going now. That's the main thing I'm concerned about. Chlorine, uh, the chlorine is not motivated to drop down to the dash assault line level. But once we get some oxygen over here, that's going to start being an issue. The oxygen's not getting anywhere close, though. So we're producing it all over here and over here. So what else are we doing? Um, you could extend this down here. That's fine. It's not a major priority. Yeah, keep clearing all this space for now. So we're definitely going to insulate this. I don't want this to be exposed to space anyways, so yeah, this can just go here. Also, this is dangerously close to actually being space exposed, so we're just going to put some tiles here. I don't think the meteors are going to do that much damage. So that can go there. Let's make this party 8. Stuff can go back to party 8. Uh, yeah, probably do this too. So then let's think about this. So this is, this will, this will definitely be a big enough room. This will be like over 100 tiles. So we'll block it off at some point arbitrary and stick something else here randomly. It's still entombed. But the, uh, the decor value is, ah, uh, we're not getting the decor value because it's still, uh, entombed. Boo! Boo hiss. It had more decor when it was down here. 
It's sad. Well, it's better than nothing. Yeah, you need to do that right away. And then the other insulated bit. So, realistically, there's nothing actually stopping us from doing it down here until we get to the Biobot machine. But I don't think we're actually going to need that much space. I don't know. The funny thing is, most of the CO2 down here is actually just freezing. We've just got a pool of liquid CO2 down here. Because this is directly connected to the frozen core. Which I'm quite appreciating. Let's build some tiles for the rest of the base levels. Just to get an idea. Um, maybe we stop it at this level. Sounds good to me. Because we can just remove all of this. We do need building level 3 to do it. But I think that's a sensible bottom of the base. Yeah. So that's the habitable quarters. And then... I guess... I guess I'll do, really. Do we need more ranches on the pips here? Probably not. What else would we want here? <laughs> Maybe Slicksters? Probably not. There's no way we're going to get things hot enough for the Slicksters. So I guess what we can do is we can start clearing this out. Although we don't want to clear this out. What are we actually going to do with this? Because if I enable auto bottle on this, this is going to... This is going to get recirculated into that as well. I don't really want to use a pump. I think we're not that bothered about it, to be honest. Let me just dig it out. Oh, wait. This is, uh, this is going to go horribly. Yeah, cancel that dig. Then you'll be fine. Just dig it out and mop it later. I mean, realistically, what's going to happen is we're going to dig it out and it's going to get frozen down here with everything else. But that's fine. That is trapped. Excellent. Good job. You should be able to get yourself out of that one. And then you can go up here as well. I do want all this sand. To be honest. And dig that out as well. The more of this cold material we dig out, the the less we have to heat it up as well. So I think it's probably useful. Hang on, if brine gets cold enough, what does it turn into? Brine, br uh, ice and salt? It turns into brine ice. So, which is a different material. Yeah, it solidifies into brine ice, which just remelts into brine. And then if you boil brine, you get 70% steam, 30% salt. Yeah, that's basically the situation. I don't think I'm actually analyzing this. That's fine. Very. Hello, Triple Queen. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, I was hoping you can get away with freezing it, but, you know, Brian Ice. Yeah, no. Sadly, that's not how it works. Uh, oh, I need to replace the uh, drywall here. That's very urgent. And you need to build this. <laughs> Behold the floating water cooler. The floating water cooler and the, and the dying plant. The signs of an excellent uh, great hall. Well, it looks like we got all the automation stuff we wanted. We can't think of any reason salty water would neatly separate when getting cold enough, but I feel like it should. It's, uh, sounds like some very sentimental physics. Uh, let's see, you can dig this as well. That's fine. Are you trapped? No, you're just having fun. Okay. Uh, you can dig this as well. We don't have any when we're building three, so we can't demolish any of this stuff yet. But we can kind of just hook it up to the insulation, I suppose. If The only thing is, this stuff is getting in the way. I can remove this. I can remove this. So I think what we do for now is we just lead it around. Remove the walls. 
fact, if I just do this, the only thing we can't remove is the desk. So maybe leave that here. You're doing good. You plan to prank your husband today, so I'm going to do a catnip. Oh, I had a funny idea for a prank. I didn't end up doing it because I didn't have time. I was going to buy a leak and I was going to put it in the sink and I was going to say, I think the sink has a leak. <laughs> Maybe I'll still do it. I don't think I'm going to have time, though. Um, obviously, this is an ideal. I think we're just going to do this for now until we get building level 3. We have really slacked on getting a building level 3 dude. Like, unbelievably so. What happened to the resource teleporter thingy? We disabled it. So the rules of this run are frozen forest, no teleporters, no uh, care packages. So we, we have to leave via rocket. We can't just leave because we feel like it. Let's see. Uh, no more dupes. We are fairly decided on this. You actually chuckled? Nice. Yeah, I kind of want to. I kind of still want to do it. We'll figure it out. Oh, look. The pip is eyeing up this, like, half protruding, uh, <laughs> lice knife. That's disgusting. My mum always ends up with some frozen fruit or veggie coming out of her ice dispenser by today. Nice. A friend gave me a hen, a henway today. What's a henway? I, 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 bet, I get a feeling I just set myself up for a, a what's up dog kind of joke. Hmm. And raise a couple of pounds. No, I fell for it. I got, I got, got. Boo. Meanie. Right, if we're insulating all this stuff, let's actually just cut this off here. Concerned about the zero count? Nah, no way. Food is, food is just a number. Um, there's, the mealwoods are gonna row before they starve. See, look, there's one. <laughs> now nah, I'll be fine. Hello, Marcato. Hope you're doing well. So the, the real issue is the, the whole map is too cold to grow food on. We're heating up this little bit with um, a metal refinery output. And we are going to do ranching to get more food. Uh, so we're going to ranch some pips with the rest of the polluted water from this. Uh, feeding it to trees. But... Um, we want to insulate this all first. We can actually get it to the temperature. We can grow the trees in here. That is important. And because we can't... I think we can demolish all of this. The only things we can't... Yeah. We can demolish literally everything here. So that's not going to obstruct everything. This is going to obstruct stuff. So let's actually do some maths quickly. How many pips are we actually going to get? So. We need... So these oxyferns, let's see. What's the conversion rate on this again? So they eat 19, 19 kilograms per cycle of water. I don't think that is 19. They produce 31.25 grams of oxygen per second. Times up by 600 and that's 18.75 kilograms of water per cycle. So they're converting the water into oxygen one for one. And we currently have, um, let's see, how many? So we have 16 oxyferns. No, don't actually dig them. No, stop. So 16 times 31.25 is 500. So we've got 500 grams a second of oxygen coming from these guys. Uh, we're producing 1.7 kilograms of this. So, and because we've got 10 dupes here, we need... So the dupes consume 100 per second. So times 10 is 1,000. So we need to electrolyze another 500 grams per second of this. Or get it through rusty oxidizers, but that's limited, so I'm not going to factor that in. So we're going to end up with 0.7 kilograms per second of polluted water that we can feed the trees. The bathroom is going to get their own trees, so it's all separate. The trees consume 70 divided by 600, which is 0.116 kilograms per cycle. Times 6 is 0 0.7, so we can grow 6 trees. 
so we're gonna have six pip branches so i think we do all the pip saw thing in the first bit which i guess we're gonna put somewhere near here maybe we just put it up here who knows we got we definitely got one so if this is a pip sorting area we can do one two three four five six we can remove all of this stuff we need to put more dash of salt vines here to eat all the chlorine so let's do that we'll remove them later uh, yeah just dig that for now and then we'll start removing all of this stuff eventually And then the other rooms down here, we'll figure something else out as well. It's about to break. I'm about to break into space for the first time in space. You'll see this radiation kind of scary. I guess I should figure out what blocks radiation. Yeah, different materials block different amounts. Some solids are definitely better than others. Liquids also block radiation. If you have a larger, the larger the amount of liquid on a tile, the more radiation it blocks. Um, it's quite effective. Uh, we're still low on calories. A lot of people are full, but other people um, are close to starving, so I should probably think about that. Let's see, you can remove these. I do just want to start demolishing everything up. Harold, what the fuck have you done? Harold, you have, you have disappointed me. I mean, I guess I told you to do this, so I don't know why I'm surprised. Uh, probably worth doing this as well. You made a mess, great. See, every single stream, someone makes a mess. It happens every single time. That's how you know it's the genuine Ariza Gaming oxygen included stream. At least he's not in any actual trouble. But yeah, you can sweep this all up. To be honest, the dupes peeing on this asteroid is not really a problem at all. Looks like a little bit of chlorine is making its way down here. Not that concerned. I think that I think we figured out the plants are still consuming the sand, even if they're not actually operating. Yeah, this is a bad idea. This isn't working. There's more chlorine over here. I mean, I guess they're grabbing it eventually, but this is consuming a large amount of sand that we don't have in a large amount. I think we just have one each then. So the only thing is the chlorine is going to settle up here somewhere. It's going to behave in a weird way. Hmm. Yeah, cancel these. How's this looking? More ice over here. It's all just freezing over here in large quantities. It's not exactly what I wanted. I could probably put an auto sweeper. So this is the cold end. Right? I could put an auto sweeper over here to grab this stuff. And then put it in a loader. And start circulating that as well probably fine right, let's put that over here so if I build a bunker tile then build another one with 41% will it be 100% rad no it's multiplicative so if you have two tiles that are 60% rad blocking the first one's going to block 60% then the second one's going to block 60% of that remaining 40% so it's going to be 24% and then so on and so forth so it's never going to quite reach 100. But there becomes a point where it's basically zero. Yeah, 
yeah, I'm hoping all this chlorine is just eventually going to wander over here and get eaten. I feel like it is. Maybe it isn't. Looks like it's raining now. Fair enough. It is allowed to rain, even if I... Even if I'm sick of how much rain there's been recently. Uh, let's see. Last tile layer here. Obviously we're demolishing all of this. I can go here. You didn't do math, you just said wild exuberant sleep wheat. <laughs> just allow the radiation to roam free. It's functioning like a domestic plant. Mm. Oh, we didn't put one up here. Well, that's not very cash money. Yeah, can you Friday night this? Because I want you to grab all the ice and stick it on the conveyor line as well, so that melts again. Because it looks like all the water is dumping out of here, and it's all just freezing over here. Presumably because of whatever it's contacting over here. Maybe we just insulate this bit as well. I think that would make sense. See, we've got calories again. Just going up and down. We've got basically enough mealwoods for everyone. And then for the people who we don't have mealwoods, we're making some life slow for occasionally. So it should be fine, but we just need to make sure all our water doesn't freeze. Right. Put this here as well. I mean, eventually I guess we could rock crush rocks with sand. There's more sand over here as well. I'm not that worried. We've got some regular water over here. Can you actually reach all of this? I don't think you can. Uh, you can if I do this. <laughs> you still need to store all the bleach stone over here. That is a priority, which you have not been doing. So let's have a look at long commutes. Let's see how much time everyone's spending on everything. Recover breath, dig, build, cook supply. This seems fine to me. I think this is okay. I actually haven't figured out how to mutate plants yet. Or rather, I have uranium door in my meal. Wouldn't just seem to be nearly enough. Yeah, it's random, but the more radiation you have, the more likely it is to happen. I mean, I'm going to probably mutate plants under here. That's probably what I'm going to do. Or in the whole Wiggies War area. Yeah, we're kind of just hanging out today, I guess. Because it's going to take a while to clear all this space. We do want to dig out all the tiles so that we don't have to worry about uh, all the cold mass. Digging the tiles halves the mass. And then it means it's less area for the heat to dissipate into. You're not growing because of atmosphere? Oh god, that means you've got chlorine in here, right? No. You've just not got enough carbon dioxide. Okay, I guess we seal this off then. We uh we desperately need to move these uh weasel warts or oxyphans. We need to go over here somewhere. I think we're still technically grabbing stuff out of this area, so I don't really want to close it off yet, but we'll have to soon. All right, dig this out, dig this out. I don't think you can reach all of these at the moment. You'll be able to reach them soon enough. Right, this is going to be set to everything. Let's grab all the ice and put it on the conveyor rail. And then that should melt it, eventually. Oh wait, no, we just we just want liquefiables then. Sorry. Obviously if there's a non-liquefiable on here, it's not going to melt, is it? Starting to warm up a little. Yeah, I mean the color map on this game is not good. But it's warm enough. 
The next bit is going to be warming up where the pip ranches are. And we figured out mathematically we've definitely got enough polluted water for six ranches. Assuming that each ranch works with a single domestic tree. Also, these pips, what temperature do they actually die at? They die at minus 30. I hope they're not just wandering into the cold zones. I mean, you are, but I think it takes a while for your temperature to actually get down that low. I'll have to keep an eye out for it, though. These bits are pretty constrained now, though. Do we actually have the research? No, no one's prioritizing research, right? Why aren't I prioritizing research? Because I'm prioritizing building. Okay, so I need to stop prioritizing building. And Harold needs to prioritize researching as well. Right, there you go. Does actually need to happen. Skills. Uh, I'm just going to keep giving everyone skills they're interested in at the moment, but we do need a building level 3 guy. Yeah, Ellie, I should have been giving you building. I guess you did technically need a chef. Uh, we're going to get user suits, I think. We're going to want suits at some point. I don't think I'm going to even bother with this. Because what I really want to do long term is I want to have the pips over here and then I want to have... I guess this is space for mealwoods for now. Because the pips will poop the dirt from the trees. We can use that for the mealwoods. Thanks for the follow. Thank you very much for the follow, Chunkies. Enjoy your fishy and froggy emotes. Whiskers sends their regards. Glad you're enjoying the oxygen not included. It's going all right. We're just kind of clearing space out at the moment. We need to do this so we can actually get enough plants growing. Because this map is quite constrained and we can't print any uh, care packages off. So I do not care for these two. You all bored? Oh, you're, you're uh, doing your recreation stuff. Fair enough. Yeah, once you've done the pip ranching stuff, we'll uh, get the phone. You're not growing now. Right, you need to build this. We can't just not have oxygen. Uh, yeah, you can remove this wall as well. I actually want to remove all of this, but... We can't remove the desk. Until we're building level 3. And the biobot builder is going to stay here. Actually, hold on. Wait a minute, look. Look at this. It's actually at base level. We could literally just have our base go all the way to the bottom. That would make sense. So we can have half of it be pips and half of it something else. I guess we don't need all this insulation bit here then. Yeah, I think we just put the insulation here. And then that's that. I think that's the base. That's the base of the base, and then it's just the frozen core. Nice. I like it. Hello, Crimson Spirit Butterflies. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, I guess I don't want this um, leaking um, all the heat into this space for now. <laughs> it's too cold for the Wheeze Wart. Bloody hell. This one just died. I mean, the main important thing for now is to do this. We don't need to do all of this. This could be priority... Well, this should be priority 8 because this is how we actually get down here. We'll remove those. Put this here. And then this stuff could be priority 7 because we're not actually going to... We're not actually going to do the pips over here yet. This one could be priority nine, though. Okay, so you are actually eating some of the chlorine, but not all of it. Yeah, it's starting to leak out. 
doesn't seem to be getting into the base too much. I think it's mostly leaking up here, which is probably fine. I'm going to keep putting these here. This is a very conspicuous square region of chlorine, isn't it? Um, yeah, that can go here. And the rest of it, I don't think we worry about too much for now. Uh, you may as well grant it all of this, too. Right, is the ice actually loading in here now? It's blocked. I think that's fine. Yes, it's melting off the rails here. That's okay. We are ending up with a large... So the brine is being split up by the ice as it melts on the rail. I think that's okay. It doesn't matter if we pump water into this. It just won't run. Which is fine. We don't need a massive throughput on this. We drop the water. That's not very catch money. Yeah, there's no there's no space exposure over here because otherwise this gas would be disappearing. That's good. Yeah, we were originally thinking of putting the pips here, but I realized if we're just insulating everything, it just makes sense to just seal this bit off. And then ammo suits, I guess we'll put somewhere else. Maybe we put them over here. And then have this be a space access. Ooh, look, there's more stuff over here. Didn't even notice this. Maybe that is what we do then. Yeah, and if this is three tiles high, it's a bit easier to manage. Hmm. Do I speed three it now? I think we speed three it. We just need them to crack on. That's basically it. Yeah, you're still erupting. Temperature is actually hot over here now because the CO2 is such a bad conductor. I guess it's fairly quickly conducting away though. Okay. How is the chlorine? There's still a decent amount of chlorine in here. Once it's all gone, we'll remove the dash assault lines and we'll uh, relay out the room. I don't mind if the chlorine all hovers around up here. It's funny, because we've shielded this all off, all the oxygen's under here, but it's still surrounded by CO2. It's just periodically falling through here. It's very weird. You know what? You can actually have a door so that the air flows through here. There you go. Oh, it's nice seeing a colony actually run at speed 3 for a change. We haven't done this in a while. Yeah, there we go. There we go. We'll just leave it there for a minute. We'll have some Pepsi. Today's flavor of Pepsi is lime. So we need to move these oxyferns to the bottom. The bottom is actually going to be down here. The issue being at the moment that all the CO2 is <laughs> solidifying over here. And we're going to have... Let's see. Okay, I think I know what we're going to do. I think we're going to have this actually be a four tile high room. We're going to cut this off. There's going to be a load of radiation here. Sorry, I keep changing my mind on this. Now, that is going to temporarily expose us to space. But what we're going to do is we're going to have the pip management up here. This is going to be the actual roof. Remove this. Hold on. Remove this as well.
The actual assault button goes here. And then we remove this. Obviously, you're going to get increasingly radiated over here when we remove all these tiles, but that's fine. This is going to be the pip management zone. This regolith is going to drop out and be annoying, isn't it? So how big is that pip zone going to be? I can't remember. But we can do this. We can have this bit be three high. Just to provide a little bit more radiation proofing. Then this can go over here. And this could be the actual exit to the base. And then we can get into space this way. And this bit will just uh, leave here. <laughs> Yeah, plant the salt vine here, please. Oh, I, I guess I could plant it over here. Hold on. Yeah, here you go. You are going to let the regolith out. That's fine. You're going to need to put some ladders here to actually get up to this height. It's okay. Yeah, now the radiation is quite a bit higher. Still relatively safe, considering you're not going to be running through that area all the time. The bleach stone is doing its best down here. Trees aren't growing. The branches aren't growing because the branches are too cold. That's not very cash money. I suppose there is a slight problem. Morale is still okay, so I don't think we give people the fifth downtime slot yet. You're still making life slow, that's good. This is important, I hope you're actually dumping all the bleach stone in here. Yeah, looks like you are, that's good. Oxygen generation does not seem high enough. Because these aren't actually running all the time. Because the CO2 isn't staying in here anymore. Uh, Do I actually just seal this off here for now? I don't think I need you to run in here too much anymore. I think we just do this. And then if you want to go back down here, you can go around this way. I think that's okay. Uh, you can dig through this. You can strut this. That's not super urgent. That could be priority 7. Uh, this one could be priority 9, though. You have done something silly, sir. You have done something silly that I've told you to do. That was very silly of you to listen to me. So hopefully now more CO2 will build up over here, because any CO2 that falls in here is going to get dumped in here. And this is where the duplicants is hopefully spending the majority of their time. This looks very stupid. I find it very funny. Wait, we got glass? Oh, we deconstructed something for glass? That's funny. It's not enough to actually do anything with. At least it shows up on the list. Yeah, you're going to suffocate soon, buddy. You found a little bit more oxygen. Eh, uh, you got fluid oxygen. You'll be fine. What's, what's wrong with a little bit of uh, forced labor? <laughs> You'll be fine. What's the research? Ah, uh, food stuff. Good. It's all actually happened. Okay, we'll do that in a little minute. Uh, we want the phone. ET phone home. 
and then we'll put that in here and then we'll have an actual recreation building. Now, really, we want two. We'll put the other one in another room. Right, who's actually suffocating? Yeah, you're actually suffocating. Okay. Uh, so you need to build this and you need to build this. Okay, and you need to stop digging these. Who's doing this? Uh oh. I don't like the looks of that. This ain't good. This ain't good at all. Who are you? Uh, you are a digging operator. Okay. Kind of nosh bean. Amazing. Now, what we got over here? We got granite. You can build this. There is some oxygen up here you can breathe. I don't think you're going to make it. Oh, okay, there you go. You found some oxygen over here. That's good. You're still suffocating, yeah. Mm hmm. I, could, I would appreciate a little bit faster on the yellow alerts. <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> XD got creepy, it's fine. I haven't had a dupe actually suffocate properly while I've been trying to stop it in ages. You're trying to sleep? Okay, that's bad. Oh, now you can't actually get over here because you need to get over here. It's me! I'm the problem. Are you trying to grab all the resources from over here? That's not good. Ashcan's over here. Okay, Ashcan's gonna save the day. Maybe? Oh, for fuck's sake. Right, red alert. Yeah, come back. You guys did this to yourselves. There you go. Now you can get out of here and breathe. There you go. You still need the loot. Why are we getting water up here? Where is this coming from? There's too much water over here, right? Okay. Brian goes, I mean, <laughs> insulated tar goes here, and then we stop freezing all the plants. Oh god, that's not good, is it? We're having a fun moment where absolutely nothing is going wrong. Ah yes, surely the addition of more dupes to this situation will solve all of our problems. Uh, I can have building. Yes, let's have building. Seems like my best bet for 100% radiation blocking is ultra-pressurized hydrogen? Why hydrogen? You mean liquid hydrogen? That doesn't sound right. I mean, lead tiles are pretty good. Plastic tiles are pretty good. Those are the main things I would usually go for. The oxygen is getting really low because these aren't growing properly. I've got ice over here. Great. How do we get tiles of ice? Those gases can easily be pressurized so it eventually hit the 100% radiation blocking threshold. Really? So what is the 100% radiation blocking threshold for gas? What mass per tile? The hydrogen is 30 tons. Yeah, that sounds achievable. Yeah, good luck with that. You aren't growing because you're too cold. This polluted water is not super hot. 
And that's because the output pipe is full. Because the plants aren't eating anything. I see. It's another double whammy. I think I'm just going to stop sending this here for now then. So you're full because we're currently bridging you on here. I could reverse this for now. There you go, that will at least let you out of there for now, and then we'll just reverse this again when we need to. We do need to make sure that actually operates. More skills, please. Harold, you can have decorating level 2. Now you can actually do artifact analysis. But we'll have to get the artifact analysis station at some point then. You have a skill point. You can have... Um, let's get you ranching. I think we can do the backup rancher. This water is not that much warmer. This is very cold coming in here. Why is it so cold? Pass. You got radiation sickness? Great, good job. Mm -hmm. Oh, at least you built those tiles. I guess we leaked a load of uh, stuff out of here. Oh yeah, you're getting a proper dose there. That's fun. Mm -hmm. right, remove these. We still speed through it. Uh, right. Here's what we do. Intake. Fluid intake. Yes, good idea. I think we set up a wood burner specifically to make CO2 for these guys. So we remove these. You know I'm not allowed to drink Pepsi for fluid intake. On the other hand, I've had slightly too much smoothie already today, so maybe I'll go get myself some squash in a bit. So we need a wood burner, which we do have. It goes here. Um, I think we just need to automate that with a gas sensor. So if you detect carbon dioxide here... If you detect carbon dioxide here, stop. You're exhausted? Okay, fine. We'll do one more downtime slot. That's it. Oh, it's because of the... It's because you're not getting enough air in your beds. Yeah, that kind of makes sense. Yeah, we just need CO2 down here. There's plenty around the map, but it's not accumulating where the oxyferns are, and this is where they can actually grow, so... We don't really have much of a choice on that one. So please build all of this. I guess the wood burner can chip in to the power, but we're not going to automate it off the smart battery. So if it detects carbon dioxide, turn off. Right, uh, carbon dioxide, please. We have phone. That's good. Enjoy phone. 
of an actual functional recreation building, and then we can remove this. As funny as it was, it's a bit meme -y. My tastes. You're making more methyl again. This uh, still isn't really heating up. It's nice we can switch this between the two modes, depending on what we need. I get a feeling you're really actually struggling to uh, get over here because of the lack of air. Right, you need to be plugged in here. Yeah. Then you need to dig this, and I guess what we need to do is we need to put ladders every four, so you can actually reach that. That's probably fine. Ugh. So we haven't really we haven't really done what we wanted to do today. I'm very tempted to actually upload this as one part, one long part. Unless we get the pips working today, but we do need to actually get the... We do need to actually get the pipe heating up this area before we do any of that. How are you not followed, but you're subbed? I do, I've done that occasionally. Thanks for the follow. <laughs> Thank you very much for the follow, uh, Sweet Danger Kitty. Enjoy your uh, follower emotes now, as well as the sub emotes. Right, you're running now. So, if you detect carbon dioxide, you turn off. That's good. And to be honest, we're usually going to be consuming more than 300 watts at a time, so I don't think we're even going to waste any power from this. Yeah, these, these buildings just shit out carbon dioxide, so that should be fine. Colony isn't dead yet. Good, good. Yeah, I, <laughs> we almost had one dupe suffocate to death. Um, If a dupe dies, we're not allowed to reload. That was the third rule. We're not allowed to reload under any circumstances. We were allowed to reroll that one dupe, because that would have just been very annoying. The seeds died? Really? It's annoying. Oh, because the water isn't hot enough and it's not recirculating. Right, are you growing again? You are growing again. Okay. I think we just hook this back up again then. I mean, if we do it this way, it actually halves and halves it. Maybe we just do it like that. Oh, whatever. No save scumming. Yeah, we're not allowed to save scum. I thought that kind of took away from the challenge as well. We're just going to see what we get up to. Not that I save scum a huge amount these days anyways. So I kind of just enjoy the game more rolling with the punches now. But, uh, I think occasionally I would. You always reload when a dude dies, but I don't have to stop it from dying because I named them after all my friends. <laughs> yeah, it was XD got creeper. They were going to die. I, I would have been very sad. But right, you're all running again. That's important. Obviously, this isn't running all the time. I think this needs to be an airflow tile if we're going to do it like that, though. Same, I reload if they die, and I make sure that they have as low chance of dying as possible. Yeah. Well, we're not going to reload this time if they die. I, uh, I, I done goofed. You didn't need to build that. Then just dig this out and then you're good. I'm going to keep this outside the base. I guess. I mean, realistically, we could move everything down here. This is temporary anyways. I think what we do is we keep this here. We And we have the rust deoxidize a bit down here. Dupe safety is the highest priority. <laughs> Indeed. Cycle 498, I have 8 dupes with 1 million cows and 100% predictability. Yeah, that's, that sounds fine. You'll be alright. Yeah, so the, the trees are growing, but they're not actually... Well, they are consuming the, pol the polluted water, I think, at the right rate. But the branches aren't growing because the branches are too cold. Which I think I'm currently alright with.
No, 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 no. I mean, I guess this is important. I would rather that you actually do this stuff, but mm, I guess it's important we do this first. This is directly adjacent to the base, I suppose. And I think what we would do... I think what we would do is... Once we moved all the beds over here, we'd actually seal it in. <laughs> 99999, yes, indeed. You can remove these. We built this one to, uh, <laughs> one too far to the right. It's mildly annoying. Yeah, have fun with that. Are you going to entomb yourself? That would be very silly. And entirely possible. You're suffocating? Uh, you're fine. Wait, yeah, it is you. Good, good. How's the chlorine? There's still a decent amount over here. But I feel like the rest of these could probably go. I don't want them wasting all the sand. Looks like it's just mostly... I mean, there's a few blobs over here. Leave those in for now. I don't get going. You're producing more oxygen again. Good. What a relief. Uh, I think we just speed through it again. Yeah, I'm kind of tempted to upload this in one part because I feel like we haven't done a huge amount today apart from actually, uh, or in this bit, apart from just clear out the space and we still need to actually heat it. But that's fine. Sometimes it runs just like that. I mean, we knew we were going to be sort of limited by how quickly we could actually expand based on the rules. I still think we're doing pretty well overall. interesting how it's actually alternating over here now. because we need to have it fully uh, circulate by doing like that or we can connect this here or we can cut this off to have it fully go through here which I quite like this is certainly hotter then it doesn't recirculate through here it's currently not a problem. Wait, what are you grabbing over here? You're waiting for the fourth mistake? I don't know what the fourth mistake is. No one's come over here to analyze this. Can you not actually get down there? I'm pretty sure you can. I'm on the phone! Ray. Yeah, I can get down here. I just haven't been bothering. There is oxygen down here as well. Clean plumbing is nice. I mean, yeah, I guess it's ended up being clean. I think... So, I wanted to put showers here long term. To do that, I would have to move this pipe over here. And then put the shower and puts down here. In fact, what does the shower look like again? Yeah, the ports are in the same place. Can you rename a future dupe? You can rename a dupe now. We've got uh, an Ashcan, a Camille, an Ellie, a Harold. we got a few. You're not currently a dupe. Oh, God. Mouth breather, bottomless stomach. Cooking seven, suit wearing eight. No, thank you. Uh, there's no rename command. You can use channel points. There's a channel points redemption for that. Okay, you're grabbing all of this. That's good. What is the radiation level down here? Yeah, that's not good. So I think what we do for the rest of the day is we set up these areas and then we just set up all of the pipe to go over here. And in terms of insulation, I mean, this is going to be relatively... There we go. <laughs> this is going to be relatively insulated just by distance. So, I think once we've done that wall... One, one, two, three, four, five, six. 
We could have this be the bottom for now. You know what? Let's just do that. Let's just have this be the bottom for now. Let's make it a little bit easier on ourselves. So seal that off. Um, I guess we leave a couple of holes just for the exit at the moment. The rest of the map. And then party eight that, or party nine that. And then we can actually just start running the pipe through it. Ellie the Dreamer, okie dokie. Uh, where are you? There. You are. The Dreamer. There you go. I presume that's what you wanted. We ha I don't think we have the sleep machine enabled on this run, so sadly there, there aren't going to be any actual sleep sweet dreams. But that's fine. In fact, I think we actually separate that as well. There you go. We've done pretty well naming uh, dupes in this run so far. There's only a couple that don't have them, and I picked most of them up today. You're dormant. Uh, you know what? I can analyze you as well. How far are you actually going to get on this? You're quite the brain box. It's possible that you'll get it done. Not that there's a huge amount of oxygen available. This tank is almost full of hydrogen. Interesting. I think I would prefer if you analyze the hydrogen geyser first. How's the toilets looking? Yeah, toilets are still looking good. That's a good sign. I've never had a dupe on a video name before. Well, you do now. You do now. I think we're pretty close to having all this chlorine come over here. You know what? Let's do a fish update. Screw it. Fish update. How are the fish? Where is Whiskers? I think Whiskers is having a nap around the back. The Zebra Danios have been quite active today. Uh, these plants were getting slowly more and more eaten. I need to have a think about that. I've been telling you guys I'm going to rescape uh, re this tank for a while. So things I'm happy with, thanks Uglebisk, I think I'm happy with the driftwood. I might move it a little bit to the left. I'm fairly happy with the plants at the back. These long ones are getting munched quite a lot to the point where they're kind of getting munched faster than I'm able to fix them. So maybe I'll replace them with something. It's funny because plants often have a... Plants often have a cycle where... They do well in my tank and then they die off. And I'm wondering why that is. The frog tank I'm pretty happy with. Uh, oh my god, look at that little guy. You can see him. Look. You can see the frogs. Look, they're posing. You can actually get a clear shot of them. That makes a change. Uh, but I'm happy with the new plants I got for them. The snails don't seem to be munching them too quickly. Uh, but I think it'd go well with what the tank actually looks like. So I'm happy with the frog tank. Um, let's see. Hold on. Yeah, there's Whiskers. Whiskers, Fiskers. Alrighty. Back to the game. Who's got a skill point? Neo. Might be nitrate spikes of fools to use fertilizer plant boosters. I do have a little bit of plant food, but I mostly just use it for a frog tank. Um, I think you're probably right about it being nitrate rising falls. But then again, I can see lots of the plants being munched, and I can see the platys munching punching them right now, so I think the platys are the culprit. I think it might just be about how much food I'm feeding them as well. Right, Neo, I'm actually going to give you pyrotechnics because I think we're going to do some of that fairly soon. I want to try out the blast shot thing in this run because we actually haven't done that yet, I and mean, we keep forgetting to do that. Where are you? Oh, there you are! Oh, that's funny. Really funny. Yeah, build that, please. Yes, I know you can't breathe. Oh, there you go. You're fine. Good job. These millwoods are getting too cold because they're close to the edge. Yeah, I kind of knew that. You're still analyzing this? Did I already analyze this? No. Oh, I didn't hit analyze. Yeah, okay, that would explain that. 
We've already got pretty far on this one, but I don't really care about the carbon dioxide one. Yeah, good to see these all going down. The wood burner is doing its job. And I don't think the power is being wasted either, so that's fine. Ash can, are you able to get out of here? I feel like the answer is no. I feel like you're actually going to trap yourself. Uh, I feel like you have. <laughs> right, okay. Um, right, and this is... <laughs> Why am I just watching you do this instead of actually fixing it? Right, um... Cancel this. Dig... Diggy diggy hole. Dig these. Yes, rub your eyes. Good job. You can get through here. Uh. Help! Help! Oh god, you're still trapped. How the f how the fuck did we trap you this much? I think Ashcan might be dead. Um, you're the oh no, you're the first friend. That's not good. That's really not good. I think Ashcan's actually dead. That is very sad. There's no way. How are they, they going to get through here? Um. No, I don't think they are. I think they're just straight up dead. Well, that's sucky. Okay. Yeah, I think you're just actually dead. Um, what else can we do? You need to build a tile, but no, you're... You're, uh, about to die. Well, that's going on the mistake counter. Yep. <laughs> He's dead! <laughs> He's dead, Jim. Dead dupe. Alrighty. That one is 100% uh, my fault. It looked like there was oxygen down here, but no, it's just super cold. Too bad I don't have the scaffolding mod. No, it's not, because that would make it too easy. Right. We got a, de we got a dead dupe. Sometimes it happens. Uh, mistake counter go up. I should probably be supervising some of this. I'm not going to be too broken up because we're going to actually get... Well, it's not like we're going to run out of dupes. <laughs> F. Yes, indeed, F. He was the frozen friend. He died. We found him down here. We should have left him down here. <laughs> There's some meat that's just been preserved. That's kind of funny. Yikes. Because of all this... Gravitas crap. He's cold once again. Yep. Feels bad. Well, as I said, we're not allowed to reload. We have a good we have other good diggers, so it's not the end of the world, but yes, we need to bury him. Where are we gonna bury him? I think we I think we have to bury him by by his original site. Let's see, so. Where even is it again? Medicine. Ah, yes, medicine. That's perfect. Yeah, we'll 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 build a tile here, and we'll build a, a tombstone. Now you fear for your dupe. No. Here you go. <laughs> this is good. okay. This is gonna be the thumbnail. <laughs> it's not very often a dupe actually dies. Yeah, we've uh, we left quite the Axis nightmare down here. I am very much just of the opinion to deconstruct this stuff. 
So we can't access this because this is blocked off. So I think I need to cut this. There is actually oxygen down here. There's a little bit. There's not enough to actually breathe. There's polluted oxygen down here, though. Wait, who's scolding? I'm scolding. I am actually scolding from the hydrogen vent. Okay, cancel that. Let's get out of here. It's, uh, now, if I die in the run, it's game over. Like, I feel like that's a fairly sensible. Maybe we should build more ladders as secondary pathways when you dig. Yeah. I mean, you're, you're absolutely right. In this case, it's because all this Gravitas stuff is in the way. I think otherwise we probably would have ended up actually doing that. But yes, it is normally what we do. Sad day. Yeah, it looks like the base is filling up with oxygen again. That's good, but none of it's really getting down here. Wait, why are you going through here? What are you grabbing? Yeah, this is not going super great on the oxygen front. Um, we don't have any algae. There isn't any on the map. We've used it all. We could dump more polluted oxygen over here. Is there anywhere where the oxygen is particularly clear? I guess it's over here. I guess this is where the nearest oxygen is. But you're not really going to reach that, are you? I guess you are gradually reaching it. Hmm... Well, we've got to go bury Ashcan. That's important. Oh, you actually did make it down here. Okay. God, can you imagine if they suffocate trying to come down here to mourn? That would be pretty silly. For Rodriguez when? Uh, never. I'm not building that again. We have enough oxygen just from this off-gassing. I think what we would actually do is we would build a rusty oxidizer. Right, let's speed it up again. Are you actually going to be able to make it down here, Harold? Let's see. We tried doing that um, on the last run, and it did work, but I, I didn't like it. Yeah, you're all just running over here and breathing what remaining oxygen is there. I feel like if we actually build this, you're going to suffocate, like, for real. Right, Harold, you're going to go over here. Oh, I've realized the problem with this. This isn't actually going to work. Um, right. Maybe we just build it down here temporarily. And then all the chlorine just solidifies. That'd be kind of funny. Where, where's the power wire? I'm nowhere near. I don't really just want to let the chlorine out, though. I think, honestly, we just build a gas pipe. Right. So, it's going to be mostly clean oxygen here because of the deodorizers. So, I think we build a gas pump here. Just build a vent. Just build a vent at the bottom. You've never built a rusty oxidizer in your playthrough, or you always end up with 3k oxygen pressure outside my base somehow. So, I have a very funny fact. So, when I started playing this game, I never used electrolyzers. I always used rust deoxidizers, because I thought they produced cold oxygen. That was not true. And then I wondered why my base always heated up. And I never connected the two for like 500 hours. And then I realized the mistake. It's only recently we started using them again. 
But yeah, we're definitely going to need some oxygen just occasionally to actually come outside. Um, we build, I think we build one vent here, and we build one vent here. And then we can build another one over here, I guess. Maybe. How long could we leave Ashcan here? Hmm. Yeah, um... Oh, we do, we do need a replacement. There's always a replacement at hand. No, not none of these. Well, at least nobody named Ashcan. That would have been really tragic. Building all this pipe now. Fair enough. I guess all the oxygen's coming from here for now because of the vent. Oh. Actually, yeah, I suppose it's a bit silly. Uh, maybe we don't bother with the vent here. Maybe we go this way. Here you go. They are called duplicants. That is true. It was when I saw where someone took only pay and a base with nothing but pay. That's true, because after you rename them, you can actually take one with the same name, but only after you rename them, which I find very funny. We haven't got any research queued up. That's fine. I just want you to analyze these geysers first. It looks like you still have some wounds. Your health is... Yeah, that's not good. We'll analyze this when it goes dormant again. Alright, what's the gas situation on this? Alright, that should help you breathe. And then I guess it's going to drag more of the polluted oxygen out of here, hopefully. It's the intent. You guys love building pipes. It's like your favorite thing to do. Now this is unreachable. Why? Because you need to build this tile. Fair enough. We're gradually getting over here, but yeah, it's the lack of oxygen. Um, what we'll want to do next is we'll just want to vent it over this way. But now... So I think what makes sense is to go over here. Because we're eventually going to have the exosuits over here. So I think we just send it this way. Stick it here. And then have a load of airflow tiles. Well, not a load, but like a couple. And just do a column down here. Not quite. That's probably fine. Right. Um, there's still a little bit of chlorine in here. This, I think, is acceptable. So remove this. Same with this one. Same with this one. This one still has a lot of chlorine, so we leave this. This one I think we leave. This one I think we leave. Okay. Okay, more of you are growing now. That's good. Food is still uh, gradually keeping up. Uh, let's make this pipe variety 7. I want you to do other stuff first. And, yeah, I want you to do this first. Because we need to bury Ashcan. We need to get a thumbnail of everyone grieving. 
a dupe funeral. Yeah, so you're close, but you're no cigar. We're gonna make this party eight then. At least you've actually got enough air, you can actually come down here and do this now. How is the actual pipe looking? Is it still a good amount of oxygen? Yeah, it's oxygen and CO2. As long as we're not getting any polluted oxygen over here, that's probably fine. <sighs> How do we stop CO2 from accumulating in here? I don't think we do. Try under a bed. We'll have to think of a slightly better place for it when we actually hook it up to the suits. Or we just have a vent dump at the CO2 out. Okay, so now disable this. Uh, disable this. That's enough oxygen out of here for now. Yeah, you can keep finishing these off. Every other gas should just solidify down here, I think. Uh, what's going on? Gas pipe. Oh, the CO2 is solidifying in the pipe. Ah, oh, that's funny. Okay. There we go. I'm building the grave. <laughs> Amazing. Now who's gonna come do this? I'm gonna come do this. It's life support, technically, and I'm supporting life that formerly was and now isn't. Thanks for the sub. Oh my god. Thank you for the five gifted subs. That's amazing. Thank you. Thank you very much, Sweet Danger Kitty. To honor the dead dude. Thanks for the sub. I very much appreciate it. So we've got Erebor Prince. We've got Rykar 01. Got Lovebug uh, 517. We've got Oxyderp. That's, that's a good username. Thanks we've got Shroom Z. Yes, we'll go, we'll go uh, see everyone mourning Ashcan, the frozen friend who's going to be buried where we found him. <laughs> what a load of trash. Oh no, he fell! He fell down here, that's no good. Thank you very much, Sweet Danger Kitty. I really do appreciate it. 100% of any funds invested in this stream do go back towards uh, the stream and running it. Um, currently, I'm paying off the equipment that I bought for the stream, so stuff like the microphone, the webcams, things like that. And we're almost done with the microphone. So that's good. Um, I'm going to get some new emotes commissioned at some point. I have a few slots. I'd like to get some animated emotes commissioned, actually. Quite a few of my animated ones are temporary at the moment. Um, like uh, these guys. Um, <laughs> I do like them, but I would like to replace them with actual whiskers-related emotes at some point. I don't know, maybe they'll stick around for a bit. But yes, thank you very much. Um, right, yeah. I think we're done. I think we're done on this. I just wanted to, enough oxygen to get down here so people could actually come down here and mourn properly. There goes user. All right, great area. You can have building two. There you go. Yes. Um, I actually... So, Great Area the other day made a very kind donation to the PayPal. I've actually set up the PayPal with the Twitch alerts now. So, if you would rather, if people would rather donate directly rather than through Twitch, um, they are welcome to do so, and you will get, <laughs> you will get an alert and stuff, which is fine. Because doing it through Twitch, obviously, you get the Twitch-related benefits for that as well. Um, the Twitch benefits of being a subscriber, etc. Um, but if you'd rather just donate, it is an option, and I would get about 95% of the cut. And with Twitch subs, etc., Twitch gets about 50% of the cut. Which again is fine, and to be honest, I really enjoy when people uh, gift subs to communities, because it allows other people who wouldn't normally get involved to get more involved and be able to like use the emotes and stuff. So I'm, I'm really glad that's a feature. Right, Camille, you can have Exosuit Trait. That's all good. Chlorine. Oh no! Gray area is sad! And all the chlorine is dripping down here. No, we gotta get footage of them all morning. I wonder who else is gonna come down here. Rip Ashcan. No! <laughs> it's me! 
I buried him too. I'll take credit for that. Just ignore all the shenanigans going on up here. Yeah, here comes Neo. That's so sad. Are you actually getting a full morning or are you running out of oxygen? I hope you're not actually running out of oxygen. That'd be kind of bad. Just like randomly dropping a few subs when I have the spec I should do so. It helps the good streamers and makes people smile. Yes, that's very true. And now I guess I'm just doing those insulated tiles. Um, right. I don't think that's actually important. Let's put that on a priority one. We are eventually planning on expanding the base down here. The <laughs> mistakes made for. Well, <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, I feel like I probably have made more mistakes than four, but those are like big mistakes. That is like, I definitely shouldn't have done that. One of which was killing Ashcan. The other was not actually taking a builder dupe, so we didn't end up building a bathroom in time and the dupes peed on the first cycle. Um, the second one was I put my polluted water pipe here when I wanted to put my bathroom here. And this is for the this is where we're getting all of our heat from the metal refinery. Although I'm gonna need to disconnect this again. So that was definitely another mistake. So I wanted to put bathroom stuff here. And then the third mistake was Oh, uh, what was the third mistake? It just happened. A while ago. Well, at least something that was big enough that it was a mistake. I don't think I was me scolding myself in the hydrogen bin. They're just like, yeah. <laughs> You guys are welcome to chip in if you think I'm making more mistakes. But, um... Yes. Overall, I'm just really eager to expand the the heat out here. Yeah, Ashkan died because he was busy uh, digging all this stuff out. And unlike usual, where we have a ladder system they can connect to pretty easily, um, they were removing all this Gravitas stuff, and they just got completely... They just got completely... Uh, Swamped. You know what? I'm going to change this thing. I'm going to change this thing to big mistakes. Mega mistakes. There we go. So I'm not going to put like really small things there. Let's actually move that over a little bit. Um, yeah, let's center it on that axis. I like that. But yeah, it's not very often we actually kill dupes. The last dupe that died before was it was it was a meep i think it was flip farters um it's definitely on there somewhere i'll have to have a think you're new to only so most of the things we're doing make little no sense to me fair enough um yeah we're doing uh we're doing frozen foresters so this is the frozen forest asteroid it's very cold there's no food there's no heat um, all the heat we're getting is from a cold polluted water vent, which is at minus 10 degrees C. We're running it through a methyl refinery to get it warm enough that plants can actually eat it. And then we're running it through a water sieve so that the regular plants can have clean water. And what we're trying to do at the moment, because we've, we've, only, in, we've only actually heated up a very small amount of the map, is we're trying to dig out the rest of the map with all the cold materials so that it's not sucking in as much heat. And then, and then we're going to expand our radiator piping out here. And these purple tiles are all insulated tiles. So now that we've effectively insulated a larger por portion of the map, we're going to start seeing this pipe through. So let's start doing that. It's literally the opposite of Oasis. Yeah, I feel like this is actually the hardest asteroid. The hardest spaced out one. So we have six bits here. I know for a fact that we want to send polluted water here. Oh, we've got to put the tree in. I think we've got to insulate some more tiles down here for the tree. Right, cancel this. Let's send it through the tiles this time. And we'll do it like this. The hot CO2 vent is going to help out as much as it can, but it's not a lot of heat and it's not very conductive. So the answer is not really helping out very much. Okay, so then I can go over here and then I think we finish by just bringing it up here. And then that can run around here as well. 
Do I even care about that yet? Probably, I probably will, eventually. Then that goes down here, and then that goes in here. So now you just need to build all those pipes. You do have a little bit of air. I don't think you can really reach any of it. We can vent more air over here. I think we need to prioritize this pipe now. Get air dropping over here. Make the airflow tiles. I think you already have made the airflow tiles. That's good. But yeah. Main constraints, early game. Oxygen, your zoops need to breathe. Food, your zoops need to eat. Water, liquid water, you need to research. That was actually a relevant constraint here because there was only so much clean water we started with and the whole map is generally cold enough to freeze water. Like this polluted water is too cold to just sieve. You have to heat it up first. And what we've ended up doing is we've actually found a load of brine ice on the map. We've melted it all into brine and then we're running it through this pipe but that's only occasionally actually hooking up. I need to hook this up again. We weren't hooking this up for now because it was too cold after coming out of here. You know, we have extra power. Let's actually just heat this up a little bit more with the, with the tepidizer. Um, let's actually heat this up to 15. Let's actually just heat this up to 20 degrees. There you go. So we limited it to a lower temperature before because we had a dormant hydrogen vent that was powering everything, including this machine, which uses a lot of power. But now it's active again. I think we can turn the temperature up to 20 again. And then I think we just connect this in here again like we did before. And I think we primarily want to consume it like that. I guess we can half and half it. That's fine. Okay, let's, uh, let's speed up again. We need to get all the chlorine out of here. You need to get all the chlorine out of here. And you need to get a uh, leech stone out of here. You gonna go make some food? Please don't let me die while I'm AFK. No, I'm gonna intentionally... I'll intentionally kill you. Don't worry about that. <laughs> we are looking for a replacement for Ashcan. We have a rancher with decreased husbandry. Excellent. Now, the reason you don't go for this is because early game, they have a really good attribute. Late game, they're gonna have a worse max value than anyone else who's spent ages leveling it up. I mean, you can take them early on, but just be aware that late game, they're not going to be as good as any other dupe that ended up picking up ranching. So I don't think we take them. We definitely don't need a super qualified doctor. I don't think we need any of these. Right, let's actually look at the skill tree. So we don't have a dedicated builder. We know this. We could do with a dedicated builder. Um, other roles, I think we pretty much have all of them pinned down. So let's try and find a builder for number 10. Everyone's been chipping into the building work, I guess. Also, I need to get these liquid reservoirs out of here. I guess building the pipe is going to help. I think we just speed three again. So normally I stream between 7.30 and 10.30, but today we did a longer stream because it's the bank holiday. I do have some more errands I need to do later, though, so I think we're going to wrap it up in half now. Whiskers, you are a very silly sausage. Look at, look at Whiskers. It's right there. Look, that, that thing, that's her. She's just lying there next to the moss ball. There's Whiskers. And then if we go to the fish cam, yeah, look, there you go. You can see her butt. That is her tail and that is her butt. Very elegant fish. Okay, so now you're actually building the vent. It doesn't really matter what's going through here because it's not cold enough to freeze CO2 here. So now we disconnect this. Put this here. And now that's going to help you build all of this. The Dreamer earned a skill point. Good. Uh, building. Oh, you're the dedicated builder. Okay. <laughs> you're the builder and chef. You do need to primarily cook first, though.
The actual salt mine is growing. How's the chlorine situation over here? There's still a fair bit. I think this one's mostly done though. We can remove you now. These plants consume chlorine, but they also consume sand even when there's no chlorine in the air. So you don't want to run them for too long like this. Wow, we've got solid chlorine. Nice. It's all accumulating here. Excellent. I left Twitch tuned in while you wandered off. How's the colony going? Well, we killed a dupe. A dupe got stuck here while they were deconstructing all this Gravitas stuff. And uh, we didn't have time to rescue them. I thought there was oxygen here, but there wasn't enough. Um, it was the frozen friend. The frozen friend died. So we buried him next to the, the pod that we let him out of. We shouldn't have let him out. <laughs> he was better off in the pod. Um, that sometimes dupes die. It's a reality of life. We're not allowed to reload anyways, so them's the breaks. Did we find a plant we can put in here? I don't think there are any plants we can put in here apart from the Mirth Leaf. So now you're full of water, which should be around 20 degrees, or it's getting that way. You're still too cold going in here, so now the mealwoods are dying again. <sighs> okay, I'm just going to turn this off. There's too much cold water still in this pipe. Tragic events add to the spice of colony story. Exactly. Personally, I just save scum when that happens. Yeah, but at the same time, we can literally only print dupes. Like, we'll get another good dupe. It's not the end of the world. If it was like 500 cycles in and they had like, and it was George or something, I probably would save scum. Normally. But I think in this case, it's all right. So the oxygen's coming over here now. I was more concerned because they came with the three skill points. But it's not the end of the world. Sometimes you just got to give the game the respect. Otherwise, you just get complacent. Yeah, we need to let the hot water in here again. Okay, that's worked. Good. You guys aren't growing now because you're too cold. So I need to hook you up again. There you go. You guys really enjoy building pipes. I think most of the chlorine is leaking out this way now. It's generally hovering around up here. Because there's too much carbon dioxide over here in the vent. I find very funny. We're generally just spreading it out. I mean, this one still seems to be growing, so I think we leave that one there. This one, I don't think we leave in here. Now, you can't reach these tiles, so I think you need to ladder up here. These tiles you'll be able to reach just fine. I guess digging these is going to be an issue. Put a ladder there as well. This is analyzed, so this um there's quite a long dormancy period. That's fine. This base needs a few squeaky parts to grab all that chlorine. Well, we've actually got a chlorine vent over here. We got one chlorine vent here, and we got two here. So puffs are on the menu. Problem is, we don't have any puff decks. So we'll have to get some puff decks first, and then we'll be alright. But that is definitely on the menu. Because I think odds are, long term, we're just going to geotune this. We're already heating it up anyways, so we might as well geotune this to 30 degrees. It's not as good as a regular polluted water vent, but it'll be good enough. I do find it quite funny this was just literally erupting into space. Or thing. What's going on with all this liquid? That's all fine, I think. Oh yeah, pipe blocked. So the problem is, the water that's coming out of that is actually too cold to go into the plants that want water. 
So really what we should be doing is leading it into the metal refinery to heat it up again. But I think we just... No, I don't think it makes sense. We just tepidize it more up here. And I think we just need to dump the rest of this up here for now. So... That vent is disabled because there's too much pressure here. Send green signal if below... Let's say below 950. Also, why is this below 50? Yeah, so it's 950. There you go. Dump all that water back in, and then we'll keep tepidizing it, and we'll pump the hot water back. I see trouble for you with the gas going into space. So the issue is, this chlorine comes out at 60 degrees, which is very minimal, and the heat capacity of chlorine is 0.48, which is very minimal. Realistically, the heat from a chlorine gas vent is a complete non-factor most of the time. Like, to put it into perspective, a water sl um, slush vent, heat capacity of this is 4.2. So it's, that's like almost 10 times the heat capacity. And the geyser is also producing 6.9 kilograms per second as opposed to this, which is producing literally 5% of that. So yeah, the, the, the heat from a chlorine vent is absolutely minimal. I never do anything about it and it never causes any issues. I've experienced this one myself. I used one for germ removal once and no heat impact and a huge water mass going through the room. Yeah, exactly. Um, Yeah, so we're going to geotune those as well. You geotune them with salt, I believe. And we're going to get a lot of salt from... Well, this. I mean, the thing is, the salt from here is finite. I think we want to save it for rusty oxidizing. <sighs> we'll have to find another salt source to geotune these. But geotuning these and then feeding the chlorine to puffs to reduce bleach stone produces more bleach stone for geotuning than you would consume on a water vent. So, should be fun. Right, you're nearly done with this. The funny thing is, people could technically leave the base through here, wander all the way down here past all the wheeze warts and the hydrogen, and then get down here. So maybe we just seal this off completely. Nah, I don't think we do that. that that's going to get everyone irradiated and bothered and tiresome. You have a gold volcano? You can combine the chlorine and gold for salt. We don't have shit. <laughs> we don't have anything. That's the whole point of the start. This hydrogen vent is like the, the, the pinnacle of what we have on this asteroid. We have a hydrogen vent, we have a carbon dioxide vent, we have uh, two chlorine vents. What's the other thing we have? Yeah, we have the polluted water vent. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> there ain't nothing here. That's why this asteroid is super hard. There was there was one that we looked at that had a saltwater uh, geyser, which would have made things a lot easier. I thought it was going to make it too easy, so we decided not to do it. And the other one had an... And it also had an actual metal volcano. Blue water vent's not bad. No, I mean, this is the guaranteed one. This is the cooler one. So it's half the throughput and it's minus 10 degrees. And you're guaranteed this on the, on the frozen forest asteroid. You won't find one, a seed that doesn't have one. Uh, right. I think we're gonna go for another builder, aren't we? Yeah. As long as you get some actual mass back into the system. Yeah, exactly. Like, you need you need some guys to provide you with some mass, otherwise you're just in uh, trouble. So that's what this is. I'm gonna feed it all to pips. But I think, honestly, that's gonna happen next time, because I'm... I've got stuff I need to do, and... I'm getting pretty tired and I've got a full day tomorrow because I've got to get this bloody report done. Um, how's this all going? Yeah, you're doing alright. That is a low priority. So you've done all the pipe, right? Okay. So now let's take this, connect it here, disconnect this, and then connect this here. Actually, yeah, do it like that. Okay. now we can let that all go 
the only thing is we're going to want to put a we're definitely going to want to put a insulated tile line here if we're going to have the hydroplank farm here but i'm going to plan out these pips tomorrow the lever just got here um yeah i'm going to stick around a little bit longer but i do have stuff i need to do i wasn't sure when i was going to finish today but like i've got like not only do i have the mods to prepare i've also got like financial stuff i need to do like like payments for the wedding and things so i don't really have a choice but we'll be we'll be around for like another half an hour i think yeah let's let all this water out of here we'll start to see the temperature increase hopefully the funny thing is we could actually oh, not again no why am i suffocating no bad yeah i think if i die that's that's a that's not good right, who's doing this you are you're right here okay yes don't let me die don't let me die don't let neo die okay so now we can all go and uh be merry <laughs> yes if i die i think i'm gonna be very sad okay we're all good it's this bit here that's really annoying i don't honestly care about this though we'll care about it soon so let's actually have a look at this so the polluted water is going in at about 15 degrees it's already cooling down this is a very large area so we should be radiating a lot of heat over all of this. Oh, and I've got to have dinner as well. That's the other thing. I think we want to leave it a while just to see how much heat gets radiated out of here and to make sure the pipe connects up. Uh, let's do some more research. Probably worth getting the data analysis research. Food is going up. That's good. Do we want to keep making the life slope? Probably not. Let's turn it off for now. Don't pretend you eat dinner. We know you're a fish driven AI. Well, my lunch was cheese slices, so I need to do a little bit better than that for dinner. Actually, no, I lie. I, I got lunch earlier, but I had it before the stream because we started at like half one. Let's see. So I think we just put we just put a few vents over here. One over here as well. And then one down here. We'll put them at the far ends of the ranches. And obviously we've got to claim the actual ranch space as well. So that can go here. Uh, that'll do for now. That's exactly what an AI would say. <laughs> Indeed. Suspicious. Right. Okay, the chlorine is starting to settle out, so I can remove this from here. Now, pip management is going on up here. We actually have the pip buildings now. So, let's see. So, we want the critter drop-off. We want this for all of these. We're not going to do a dropper design, because that was what failed last time. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, let's see. Then we have the grooming stations. I think... Do we... Do we put the critter condos in here as well? We don't currently have reed fiber, so I think that answers that question. So grooming station goes there. We need the tree. What else do we want? We need auto sweepers and stuff to pick up the eggs. I think for now, yeah, we figured out it was exactly six trees, so this is also the polluted water plant that's going to be feeding the trees, so that is handy. So hydroponic farm goes here. I'm going to need to put another insulated tile in this bit. This is annoying. Achievement? What achievement? 
Oh, oxygen not occluded. Excellent. Okay. So trees go in there, and then the doors go here, and then the tiles. And then we actually need to make the room small enough to count as a ranch. So that goes there. We then need mesh tiles because we're going to pour all the liquid in. Mm -hmm. And we'll put a mesh tile up here as well. Once we start growing loads and loads of trees, then we'll start doing ethanol stuff. So you've got building level 3 now. That's good. Suit stability for user, I think. Right, let's think about this. So this room, all we need to do is... Block this tile and then door it. This one is going to be annoying. We know that. Um, I think we can speed to this as well. So all these other normal ones can be like this. Okay. And then this room. So this is 89. And then we got another 7 up here. So I think we just separate that off. Like that. So that needs to be priority 7. No, that's silly. Remove this. And then we just do... So that's 89, 92, 94, 96. And then we put a door here. That's not very satisfying, but it's the answer. Then this one is 89, 93. And then we got three tiles under here. That's very inconvenient. So I think what we do is put a ladder in here. So that's 93 tiles. Maybe we do something like that. Very silly. There you go. <laughs> Very stupid. Well, I guess it's not stupid if it works. We'll just not look at this bit too much. Okay. Temperature is still cold. We're going to want to put radiant pipe segments over here. We do need to do this first. And then the radiant pipes. Okay. This water is no longer flowing because... Yes, nine, exactly. Nine, 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 nine. So we need to remove this pipe now. And then that's all going to start heating up, hopefully. We got the... What have we got? Oh, we're just doing... Oh, yeah, we're trying to get the databank research going. That will happen soon, TM. There's enough radiation here. We could probably just put something here. We probably want something a bit more power efficient. We'll think about that properly another time. Right, you're all done with that. So let's priority nine all of this. The dry walls can wait. Because I'm still not 100% convinced this is what it's going to look like. I think it is. I don't know exactly what the plan is in here for now. I think for, I think for now we're just going to put planter boxes in here and this is where we're going to have all the meal ice. We don't actually need too many plants but I want to, I want to actually swap these out for barracks. 
Also, this is where the dirt is produced, so I feel like it makes sense. We do get room for 18 meal ice here, which is enough for 3.6 dupes. So... We have three of them. So these three up here. That's enough meal ice for the whole colony. While we're getting the pips up to speed. And then we can move some of this stuff again. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. So I think one more cycle while we start building all this stuff, getting it up to temperature, and then we'll then we'll wrap it up. Oh. I do not get how people do 24 hour streams. I've barely been going for like six hours, including the break, and I <laughs> I feel like it. Oh god. Maybe it's a young person thing. Is this still circulating? No. I think this is just blocked now because the plants aren't eating any, so I need to unblock it again. Because they're 19 and have no friends. <laughs> Rude. Right, there we go. No? Isn't that not working? It's trying. It's trying to get out of here. This polluted water is all very cold now. Right, it's best. We have a lot of debris down here. I don't think that matters too much. It's going to take a while to conduct heat with everything. It's kind of a shame this turned off now because we could have used the little extra heat it was providing. Um, trees go in here. We only have four acorns. Well, that's not very cash money. I'm sure we have more acorns than that. We'll need the pips to produce more acorns. You poor thing. <laughs> I'm rude, very rude. Don't don't let rude dupes die. Indeed. Yeah, you guys are definitely not going to grow. This water is too cold at the moment. But that is a sign that you're absorbing the heat. It probably would have made sense to start at the bottom. Yeah, we need a better temperature overlay. That's absolutely a thing we need. But yeah, tomorrow we'll finish the pips and we'll do the rusty oxidizing because that would be useful to generate some heat as well. In fact, we could even squeeze the rusty oxidizer over here somewhere maybe. No, I think we just put it here and we just run the polluted water past it. I think that's what we do. We run it past there with a the radiant pipe and that's how we get the extra heat out of there. We build it here because it's not in the way. In fact, maybe we build it here. This is especially not in the way. We need some radiation stuff over here. Yeah, I still need to decide where I'm actually going to put things. More skills. Harold. There we go. Masterworks dupe. Right. Um... Well, we don't have any hanging stuff we can build yet because we don't have any reed fiber, but that will eventually come in handy. Well, th yeah, this is a hard start. This is definitely harder than uh, than Fit Fighters was. It's because we have more resources to work with. Do you end up having to transition from heating to cooling later in the game? Um, not sure. I mean, I wouldn't suspect so on this asteroid, because the main input mass is minus 10 degrees, as you say. So I think we're always going to want to have to generate some heat. One of the random blocks of liquid on them interrupting your ladders. These ones. 
They're not supposed to have liquid on them. This is just... They're just extra insulation tiles, because I was trying to keep this as warm as possible without it leaking out here. I don't think it was working very well, though. It's kind of a desperate short-term stopgap. Which didn't quite work. Right. This is heating up. Sus. Yes, very sus. We haven't found any morbs yet. I did set the Amorbus mod to extra sus, and I have no idea what that does. So I hope they don't just come in and make a mess of all my pots and pans. Uh, what's going on with this pipe? I mean, it is definitely important to get all the oxygen over here. So you can actually build this stuff. Right. It's 8 o'clock. I think I'm going to have to wrap it up. I've got stuff to do. When DSP next? Uh, we are going to do Dyson Spear Program when they update Space Combat. Because our current save is at the point where we want to do Space Combat, and I know the devs have bigger plans for it. So I kind of want to wait until they've done that before we before we jump into that again. But it's a lot of fun. Um, Mega Aquarium is going to be resuming in May after the wedding. Oh, hold on, there we go. I have a different song. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for uh, hanging out. Yeah, Dyson Speed Program is the best. It's super good. It's my it's one of my favorite games. But yes, thanks for thanks for hanging out. I do appreciate it a lot. Um apologies. Um I'm wrapping up about the usual time I start. But yes, we've been we've been doing this all day and I have lots of stuff to do now. But uh thanks very much uh for watching. If you like what you've seen and you're still here from Willow's raid earlier, feel free to follow on Twitch and you get a notification when I go live. Am I further than Bat Guy Mega Aquarium? No. No, Bat Guy has played this more Thanks than me. Follow. Thank you for the follow, Willow Rainy. <laughs> it's about time. <laughs> Thank you very much. I appreciate it a lot. Um, Willow Rainy is a friend of the channel. Let us give Willow Rainy a shout out. I need to give more people shout outs. I'm bad at that. Another excellent only content creator. Always playing stuff. You're always on my recommended. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Likewise with you. Yes, yeah, so you, you have some fun at only. You you play a few other games as well. In fact, you, you often have two streams. You have like a, a morning or like an early stream and a late stream. It's pretty interesting. Um, I'm one of the main reasons to get on ch uh, Twitch now. You're fun to watch and chill to hang with. Thank you. I, I appreciate that a lot. Um, I just like playing video games and it's really nice that you guys enjoy watching me. And I hope some of... What I do is helpful for learning games and doesn't end up making you make a load of mistakes. Very sad we killed a dude today. That doesn't often happen. You're gonna keep saving up to name a fish? Fair enough. <laughs> yes. Yes, fish have been doing all right at the moment. There was a zebra down here I was a little bit worried about. Um, they're not doing super well. I did put them in some swim bladder medicine, but I don't think they. Ha I don't think their issue is a swim bladder issue now. I think they've just got a bit of an age issue. But they're doing they're, they're doing all right in general. Whiskers is having fun. <laughs> you definitely let me do things all the time. Keep watching. I'll keep playing. Thank you. Yes. So tomorrow we're definitely going to do the rusty oxidizer, and we're definitely going to get the pips, the pips up and running. We're going to do both of those things. In which order I don't know. Probably rust first to help heat everything up, and then pips once we've got everything hot enough for the trees because we're still kind of struggling on the heat. Yep, if you haven't seen already, all the YouTube, all the VODs are uploaded to YouTube. There are discussion videos on there, tier list videos, meme videos, lots of things worth watching. And there is a Discord where we hang out and we post uh, mil uh, milms and beads. Uh, builds and memes, that's what we do. Mostly auction not included, but other games on there as well. Uh, Car Mike is often showing off what he's doing in Dyson Sphere Program. Milds and beams, yes, exactly. On that note, let's go raid someone. Who are we going to go raid? I don't know who is actually on. This was, is certainly having a little swim. Uh, Lumen is on. We have raided Lumen. They have raided me. Uh, they are clearing the map, searching for metals. Seems like they're at a similar position to me at the moment. So we're going to raid them. 
Um, so if you have any fishy emotes or fishy sentiments, feel free to share them with Lumen. Um, oh, hold on. No, there they are. <laughs> I forgot I had sound on this computer. Alrighty. Let's go over and say hi. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.